Hey guys. Uh, it's not Thursday's thoughts, but I just wanted to get on here really quick while I'm warming up the car for work. Um, I made a previous video the other day, but as some of you may not know, I suffered from DKA. That is basically diabetic ketoacidosis. It's more common with people for type 1 diabetes, which in short, I'll just say that I was misdiagnosed six years ago as being a type 2 diabetic. And I uh, recently was just diagnosed as being a 1.5, which uh, my pancreas is not producing insulin officially as much as what it was. My diabetic uh, oral medications are not working as good as what they were. And sooner or later, I will have to be put on insulin, probably sooner rather than later, uh, just to give what remaining beta cells I have a break. And so uh, I have a doctor's appointment this Friday, so I'm, I'm actually looking forward to going, so maybe we can get a few things straightened out. Um, I also have to make an appointment with a, a specialist, with an endocrinologist, and um, I'm not sure how they inject insulin. I mean, obviously, it's going to probably involve a needle or something, which I'm used to that anyway with my Victoza. I... Um, just gonna try to get things figured out my blood sugar has been in the 200s just I'm trying to get it down and it just seems like it's not budging away from 230 240 yesterday I had a bit of a breakthrough you know I got down to the 180s and that's only because honestly I've been eating salads almost every single meal which I'm not against salads um, for those of you that know me I tried to um, go by way of a very low fat whole foods plant-based diet not vegan plant-based vegan is an ideology i am plant-based for health reasons um but anyway i don't really like pounding that drum a lot but uh there's just some people that just they don't seem to get it um right now my um you know, my brown rice, my legumes, beans, potatoes, baked potato. Um, it's just not working for me uh, at the moment because I'm not on insulin yet, but my diabetic pills, uh, they're kind of working, but they're not. So I've been having, you know, unless I'm going to eat strictly veggies, which I'm kind of considering for now, um, you know, whole high carbs are kind of out for me for now until I get back on insulin. I've been having to go back to my old ways, you know, of consuming dairy and meat just to keep my blood sugars down for now. Um, that's only a temporary fix. Um, but the thing I think I hate the most about it too is my energy levels just are not there. My, uh, you know, I'm used to eating oatmeal or cream of wheat you know, or an apple along with my oatmeal for breakfast and berries and pineapple and mangoes. I'm used to eating all that stuff and just having a, a buttload of energy for the next few hours in the early morning hours. And I don't know what to do with that now. This morning I had one piece of toast, which is still going to send me through the roof, probably up to about 300 something. And, you know, I had two pieces of turkey sausage, uh, cottage cheese, you know, all these high fat foods that I don't really want, um, that I'm not really getting any kind of energy from, you know, and I appreciate that people care, they're concerned, but one thing I don't appreciate is unsolicited advice. And especially if you aren't well read on things or you just listen to whomever, you know, I like to cross-reference my stuff, but I also like to feel good, and right now, I, like I said, I don't really feel good, I'm low on energy, you know, all this meat and dairy are just, for me personally, they are low energy foods, you know, I 
presume eating whole grains, whole wheat, uh, fruits, veggies, freaking my brown rice, my basmati, you know, uh, a good baked potato with a little bit of salsa on top, my sweet potatoes. Uh, I mean, that's essentially my thing there, what I want. And once in a great, great while, a little bit of meat, maybe a little bit of cheese. Um, but like I said, it's just, you know, I'm learning something called double diabetes. You know, say that's if you're a, a type one or a type one and a half. Well, if you're eating a high fat diet, that fat is blocking and being stored in your muscles. So your insulin can't put that glucose within your muscles for your muscles to be able to use what's there so it stays trapped in the bloodstream and therefore you're when the next time you go to eat a baked potato or you go to eat something say you had that baked potato with a load of butter sour cream bacon all that's doing is making your blood sugar rise but the more you start to eat low fat plant-based your over time your blood sugars will be more steady, they'll be a lot lower. I know that flies in the face of today's medicine, but A, it worked for me, and some of you might say, well, if it worked for you, then how come you're a diabetic, or how come you're a type 1.5? Well, a type 1.5 is caused by an autoimmune reaction, and it could be genetic, and there's a strong link uh, between that and dairy, leaky gut um, between that and meat consumption so I mean it's a uh, it may be confusing for some of you guys um, it has been confusing for me I'm learning about things I'm reading about things um, I cross reference things um, you know I look at arguments for it arguments against it I like to look at every aspect, but at the end of the day, it's my health, my journey, and whew, overwhelming at times. And I'm sure for my wife, it's very overwhelming. My son, he, he kind of understands. And uh, at the end of the day, I just got to look out after myself because in doing that, I'll be looking out after my family. And, uh, like I said before, I'd rather be eating a whole foods plant-based diet and not clogging my arteries. So there we go. But all right, guys, I better get off here and head to the store. All right, guys. Take care.